Jane grab some breakfast and we get these sides and it's like a miniature version of the scripts and it's just all the scenes that they're filming for the day. So you go over your scenes, look at what you're in. Sometimes you'll have one scene, sometimes you'll have like 10. You know what I mean? So it totally changes. Some days you're just chilling because you only got a couple scenes. Some days it's like full out. You just go over your lines, go over the scenes, think about how you're going to act yeah. it, you know what I mean? Get into your emotions and then you just hop into the scenes. And then once your scenes are done, you head home. Yeah. Are you guys, are uh, your, you and your castmates friends outside of... Totally. Yeah. Totally. We're really close. We're like a family. You know what I mean? And uh, I've actually lived with Lamar now, who plays Wes, for a while. Like we've lived together for going on our third year. Wow. Yeah. We're like roommates. It's still that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> That's really good that you guys that you guys are still friends outside yeah, oh yeah, of totally. it. So you've also for Family Channel, you were a big part of the um, stand up campaign. Yes. Um, so what was that like for you? Because I know that I used to follow. I followed that all through. Mm. And what was that like? The stand up campaign was amazing because a part of it actually. Uh, part of the bullying awareness week, I actually got to go on tour with Brittany at one point, and that was so much fun because we actually got to go into schools. Mm -hmm. And instead of you know performing on a stage and interacting with a huge audience, it was actually very close up and personal. And I actually got to talk to kids, you know what I mean, like in smaller doses. So that was really cool. I was really happy to be a part of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. What's your advice for kids for uh, that are being bullied? Um, just never be afraid to talk about it. You know what I mean. Everybody knows that it. it's such a horrible thing that can happen to anybody, and it's really unfortunate when people feel like they're embarrassed by it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Speak up. If you if you are getting bullied, that my advice would be just to tell somebody, tell people, ask people to help you. Don't be afraid to share what's happening to you because someone will help you if you share it. Because sometimes it's hard to see. You know what I mean? Like I I heard of a kid when I was in school that you would never thought was getting bullied, and then you hear about it and you're like. Wow, I never would have guessed, right? So you always have to speak up. Yeah. And that's where that's where stand up comes from. You know what I mean? Like stand up to it. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. That's a really big issue for yeah. me. Standing up and not bullying the bully is totally. a really big thing. Huge thing. Um, can I do some rapid was... fire with you? Yeah, let's go. Rapid okay. fire. What's your favorite animal? Uh, penguin. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Home Alone. Yes. <laughs> I love that movie. I love it. <laughs> favorite dance move. Favorite dance move? Uh, windmill. Awesome. Yep. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna pretend movie. that I know. Cool. <laughs> Great. What's your favorite season of Women's Step? Uh, season three. Yeah, yes. I, I really like season yeah, three. Season three is sweet. Favorite song of the summer? Favorite song of the summer. Uh, it's called Waves by Jameson. It's not that popular. It's called it's called Waves. It's a sweet song. Cool. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Let me think of a <laughs> What do you have, what's your advice to, to dancers that really pull, that want to be like like you? Um, just to never quit. Never let someone tear you down. It always gets hard. Um, it gets hard to pursue something like that, any kind of art. Don't give up. Yeah, so is that what you did when you um, just no, didn't give up? When totally, yeah. Like when I was dancing in my studio, my mom owns a dance studio called Confidence. Um, there was always a lot of guys. But once I got a little bit older, there was one year where I was the only guy. And I was like, well, you know what I mean? I have no like homies, you know what I mean? I have no friends. It was kind of 